we wanted to do a film about an international subject, but we wanted to do a film for an American audience. It's hard to find a subject where Americans and the rest of the world collide as beautifully as they do in the asylum office. The scene is amazing. It's a waiting room full of people from 180 countries, almost any place in the world where there's any kind of problem. The film is about how it works from the experience of people who are both applying for asylum and from the experience of people who are having to decide on the, on the applications. It took us a year to get permission to film. And it was very brave of the INS to decide to let us in because they let us in with no restrictions except to say everyone who is in the movie has to agree that they want to be. This was a huge challenge, I mean, to, to get people to be willing to be in the film, to decide that this was worth doing. At least with the asylum officers, we knew where they were. And every day we could go out and, and visit and try to get to know people. And it was relatively easy to get the officers to talk to us. But being able to sit in on an interview meant that we had to also get the agreement of the applicant for all the confidentiality reasons. You should feel free to talk to me. Nothing that you say will be go back to your government. We knew it was going to be difficult for applicants, people who were afraid about family left behind, people who might feel like if their story wasn't very good, they didn't want it on film. We started off meeting lawyers and advocacy groups because that's that's one place you can find asylum applicants. But 80% of the folks who come to the office don't have a lawyer. How could we find them? Applicants turn up for their interviews one day only, and they're there for a couple of hours. And we also weren't allowed to solicit in the waiting room. An applicant who comes in with a very solid case is much easier to find than an applicant who doesn't speak any English, has no lawyer, picks up a translator in the waiting room. OK, what time? See if anybody out there speaks Russian. And we wanted the film to, to make you feel both of those realities. What language did you translate in? Uh, Chinese and Mandarin. In some ways, the officers are the harder group. You know what the applicants are afraid of, given what they've come from and where they are. Um, it's less obvious that officers have reasons to be afraid to agree to be filmed. And they certainly felt that the press generally has used them as an easy target. Imagine you're an officer. Now, why are you applying for asylum? How many times were you abducted by the military? That was uh, uh, three times. You have to judge, even if you're unsure. No, in 94. Okay. Many people are lying to you. In October 94. Yes. Is that right? You are either going to grant them asylum or you're going to put them on the path to deportation. How do you decide whether someone's telling the truth or not? It's not simple, um, and you're never sure. And we still have to make a decision based on fuzziness. <laughs> and it takes place three times a day for each officer, five days a week. That's a hard job. That's a hard set of decisions, which is going to affect that person and that person's children and that person's grandchildren.